legislators tend to quote is the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, study on dog bites a few years ago. And the CDC uh, is an interesting study because the authors themselves in the CDC say you shouldn't really rely on this report because, one, we grabbed a bunch of our statistics from newspaper articles. So what we're really measuring is what breeds of dogs newspapers choose to report on. And two, they're comparing pit bull type dogs and mixes to a bunch of purebred dogs, single breeds. Statistics, like I said, can always be bent for the purpose of what the agency wants them to see. Uh, but you got to take it with a grain of salt. I didn't need to read a CDC report that I got problems with pit bulls. I could tell them. I guarantee you that, say, if I made a call on this phone right now to a news station and I said, oh my God, a pit bull just bit a child outside of, you know, my, this, this building. We would have a news van come right outside to do the story. But if I said, oh my gosh, a lab or a cocker spaniel just bit a child, do you think there would be a news van here? No. In Northern California, another horrible attack on a child, this one by vicious dogs, one that has many people shaking their heads in disbelief tonight. Two people have been killed in separate attacks by pit bulldogs. The number of serious, even fatal attacks by dogs is growing rapidly in some areas, especially among dog breeds known for their vicious traits. And there is a growing problem to report tonight with pit bull terriers. These dogs can be vicious. There's 4.5 million dog bites reported to emergency rooms every year. Okay, and that's the CDC statistic. So 300 million Americans, 74 million dogs of all breeds. You have a 0.0002% chance of being bit by a dog. Where's the epidemic? When a pit bull, let's say, mauls somebody or a pit bull bites somebody, chances are you're going to see that on the first or second page of the newspaper and probably on the 5 o'clock news, 6 o'clock news. If another dog bites somebody or a different breed bites somebody, chances are it won't even be reported. That's what professional journalists do. They put things on page one of the headlines and uh, then they move them down the page below the fold, as it is said, or move to an inside page. And all these movements have an influence on how people see stories. Sometimes it has a uh, negative effect. Most people in the nation have heard about the pit bulls that killed Nicholas Fabish in San Francisco. If I ask somebody, which I have on the street when I've been collecting signatures, did you hear about little Caitlin Logal in Colorado that were killed by, was killed by her family's two Siberian Huskies? They say no. Who? What? But if you ask them, did you hear about Nicholas Fabish, who was killed by the pit bulls in San Francisco? Oh yeah, those pit bulls in San Francisco. So what? Caitlin Logal's life isn't as important as Nicholas Fabish because she wasn't killed by pit bulls? ago, my colleague, Max McCombs, who teaches at Texas now, but he was here with me, um, was curious to study the power of the press in setting the agenda, telling us what to think about. So we got together and we studied the 1968 campaign and discovered that the main media, newspapers and television, do seem to tell people what to think about. So it's come to be called the agenda setting function of the press. Our research indicates that if media persistently talk about a topic, that topic becomes important to the audience and more effective by agenda setting in any medium if they know little or nothing about the topic. When I first brought my first pit bull home, um, Pandora, I was terrified. I was terrified. I had the same ideas about pit bulls that everyone else who had read about them in the newspaper and heard about them on the news had. When he brought them home that day, I was totally against them. I mean, I printed papers off the internet, library books. I did a lot of research research for a couple weeks. 
start falling more into my own opinion versus the media. When I first heard she hit a pit bull, I said, oh my gosh, I'm not coming near there. And a couple of times when I did come in, I just sat there like a stiff poker because I was scared to death any movement she would get me. And I think I attributed that really to what the media had basically taught me about this breed of dog. A lot of what local news is is fear. You know, you need to watch tonight because, you know, this is dangerous. story over and over again on a topic over and over again in any medium, you tend to think quite naturally it's important. If you have certain words that are repeated over and over again uh, in association with a topic, you naturally make kind of an association with that topic. We discovered that if another breed attacks, it's often not mentioned in the headline, it's just dog attacks. Association made their board the headlines for pit bulls in our, our little examination of it. important uh, readers or users of media are our leaders. Uh, they're among the most important people who read the media and they develop their own develop impressions as well from the way issues are presented and framed. I have my 